Shiny Lee Savory, justice, justice, shalt thou pursue, it's written in Deuteronomy. And no, make no mistake about it, the pursuit of justice is what Johnny Lee Savory's case is all about. Johnny's journey began in 1977 in Peoria, when as a 14-year-old boy, he was picked up out of junior high school and taken to a police station. No parent or guardian was by his side. He was grilled relentlessly for 36 hours. The days turned into nights, the nights turned into day. They browbeat him into giving a confession to a crime he did not commit. Never mind that the facts of the confession did not fit the crime. Never mind that there was evidence that they suppressed that would have shown that he was innocent. They got their man, they got a boy, and they convicted him and sentenced him to 50 to 100 years. That conviction was reversed. They weren't allowed to use the confession. And what did the prosecutors do then? They manufactured a case against Johnny Lee Savory. They made a deal with somebody in prison and got him and his mother and his sister to testify that Johnny had made comments against him. And they sentenced him this time to 40 to 80 years. And for the next 30 years, Johnny Lee Savory wrote everybody, everybody under the sun to come to his help and to try to get him out of prison. 30 years of letters, and finally, last December, 2006, Johnny Lee Savory was released. But he is not free today, because he is still a guilty man in the eyes of the state of Illinois. And Johnny Lee Savory is innocent. And what we are asking for you to do today is to help Johnny get the DNA testing that will prove once and for all, not only that he's innocent, of the murder of two teenagers in Peoria, but that someone else is guilty of that crime. We need you to call Governor Blagojevich. That's your action plan. Call Governor Blagojevich and say, we want DNA testing for Johnny Lee Savory. Do that. Pick up the phone. Help Johnny Lee Savory clear his name. Thank you.